How you doing today? This is Rob from Rapid Fire Firearms. We're going to go ahead and break down a 1911 today. Uh, for people who don't really know too much about the 1911 or too familiar with it, we're going to go ahead and break it on down for you. Uh, we're going to start from the basics. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do safety. That's the most important thing of all is taking care of business in the way of safety. Safety is the first thing always. So the first thing we want to do on a firearm before we even start to work on it is we're going to go ahead and take out the magazine. That's going to be the first thing we're going to do and remove the source of ammunition. At that point in time, what we're going to do is we're going to lock back the, the action, also known as the slide. So that way we know that the gun is clear and know, and know that we know that there's no firearm that is loaded or anything like that. It's all completely safe. Uh, as you see, no, no magazine, magazine's out, all good. All right, so at this point in time, we're going to go ahead and start de to break down the 1911. We're going to go ahead and let that slide go forward, and we're going to engage the safety. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and utilize... Uh, there's a thing called a bushing tool you can use, which is probably a lot better at this point if you're a novice at breaking down these guns. Um, I just grab anything that's convenient for me at this point in time. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my handy dandy knife and uh, push down the, the guide rod bushing and I'm going to move over slightly my barrel bushing just to start the, the whole thing. Once I do that, I'm going to put my thumb over the front of that bushing. At that point in time, I'm going to go ahead and turn the barrel bushing clockwise till I hear a click, which means that the spring is ready to come out from the, the guide rod bushing. So I'm going to go ahead and let that come out slowly. Keep your thumb on it and slowly let it come out. Don't go too fast or too slow, just at your, at your convenience. Slower is better. Right here you have the guide rod bushing and the, and the guide rod spring. At this point in time, we're just going to go ahead and take off the whole barrel bushing itself. We're going to go ahead and go clock, counterclockwise until the thing comes completely out. And there it is. This is a compensated gun. Uh, gives it a little bit more stability on the second shot. Uh, it blows the, it blows the gases out the top of the bushing, keeps in, keeping the barrel level on your second shot. So it's a quicker shot, quicker shot to acquisition on your second shot. All right. So, anyways, back to what we were doing. Sorry, I got sidetracked. At this point in time, we're going to go ahead and push back the, the slide until we get to that first notch in the slide. And also, at that point, we're going to push the takedown lever out and it'll slide right out, okay? At that point in time, we're gonna go ahead and push forward the slide to take the slide off the frame of the gun, breaking it down into the position that you'll need to do your cleaning. Then we remove the guide rod, which is a full guide rod. Some guide rods are smaller guide rods. They're like, they're called pin guide rods. They're a lot shorter. They sit inside of the slide here in this section of the slide, all right? Some people like that, some people don't. It's up to you, you're the operator. At this point in time, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the barrel, removing the barrel, so that way we can use any cleaners or anything that we may need to, uh, to, to shine this up or whatever it may need. Right now, we're just breaking down the gun. We're not gonna do any cleaning and probably till next video. Um, as you see, it's all taken down, ready to go for cleaning. Frame's ready to go, a little cleaning, right there. All right, and so at that point in time, right now is what I would do if I was going to start cleaning, is use some solutions on my barrel and let it soak through the beginning, uh, and then just go ahead and clean the rest of it. Like I said, we'll go over that next video. So the main thing is to break down your firearm safely in a good manner and to get to know your firearm. So that way you feel comfortable with it if you ever have to actually break it down in the field or at the range. All right, so at this point in time, we're just going to put it back together again we're just going to go opposite of what we did so it's kind of a reverse a reverse manner so we just get that slide and we'll put it up like this standing up and then we're going to go ahead and grab our barrel right here and we're going to go ahead and slide that in once we slide it in we're going to grab the guide rod right here this guide rod has a buffer on it which minimizes the recoil or the inertia energy on the slide so it doesn't slam back as hard on the the frame of the gun as it as it's as it's shooting helps it a little bit on the recoil also so at that point in time we're going to go ahead and grab the frame of the gun and we're going to go ahead and we're going to write it on top of the of the slide i like to keep my slide down on the deck and i i match up the slide grooves to the frame the frame grooves or the frame itself i'll set it up on top and then just and just work it in just like that it goes in real easy once you get it to this point like this you just want to go ahead and lift it up. You want to keep your hand off the palm safety because what it does is it engages the disconnect. And when the disconnect's engaged, you can't slide back the slide properly. 
it'll pop up. It pops up and down when you do that. So what you want to do is just keep your keep pressure off that, and then slowly slowly push back, or you can give a little bit of force, not too much, but just a little bit to get it over that disconnector. So you just kind of push, just like that. At that point, we're going to slide it back to that first position like we talked about in the beginning of the video. We're going to line up the barrel. Right there, there's a little hole. You want to line this hole up with your barrel itself. You'll see when you look through. At that point, we're going to go ahead and grab the pin, and we're going to slide the pin right into the position. Just like that. It's real simple and easy. You're going to push it forward, engage your safety. At that point, because I have a larger bushing because it's compensated, I have to put the bushing on first so I can get it over that guide rod and be able to install my guide rod spring and guide rod bushing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that at this point. I'm going to put the spring in. I'm going to make sure we're going to put the flat side to the, to the bottom of the, the gun because the cut end goes to the top of the barrel bushing itself, or excuse me, the, the guide rod bushing. So this keeps uh, even, dis even pressure on the guide rod as, it, as the, the slide goes back and forth. So at that point, I'll just go ahead and slide the spring back in. Sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, then I'm going to push down the spring. There's a little bit of pressure, so you have to keep consistent pressure on it till you move that barrel bushing over to where there's just a little bit of the lip hanging on the edge. Okay? Then you're going to go ahead and grab your tool, which is my handy-dandy knife. If you'd like, like I said, there's barrel bushing tools out there you can use. There's all kinds. So you're just going to go ahead and push that down till you can get that lip of the barrel bushing over the top of the lip of the guide rod bushing, just enough to where you can get it like this. It sits like this. At that point in time, you're just going to turn it until you hear the click. Then you're good to go. At that point in time, you're going to go ahead and dis disengage your safety. You're going to rack that slide, make sure it's properly working. And at that point in time, uh, I would have to check the, the firing pin, but we'll go over that later and I'll show you how to do that. And uh, that way you know that your pin's properly striking on the primer. But right now, it's all together. It's good to go. Safety works. We'll lock it back into position. We see it's clear, no magazine. And that's how you break down a Rock Island 1911. Brought to you by Rapid Fire Firearms Training. If you're uh, interested in anything that we're doing, please feel free to leave any feedback, any messages. Uh, go to our Facebook at Rapid Fire Firearms. And uh, we'll be able to help you with any questions that you may need. We do uh, smithing. We do firearms training. Uh, we do uh, any type of trigger work you may be interested in. We got an MMP armor on site. Uh, so, yeah, you guys, feel free to leave any feedback. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great day. Brought to you once again by Rapid Fire Firearms Training.